So here we have a streaming application giving you access to movies, live TV and video on demand content. Now this application has a fully working program guide so you know exactly what you're watching, what's coming on next. The application doesn't need any kind of registration, no usernames, no passwords. You don't need to use any kind of VPN. You don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle. The application works great on your Fire Stick and your Android TV devices. And with this latest update, you really get access to so much more content. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now guys, before I start the video, let me just take 10 seconds of your time to show. As we can see now, my device has an update, which means when I click on this, Amazon will then install this update to my device. But if I press the home key, and welcome to the all new TD UK update wiper. As the name implies, now with one click, I can now clear down any updates from Amazon. So when we now go back to settings, my Fire TV, and we can see that update has been completely wiped. So I'm just putting the finishing touches to this application. If you guys do wanna check this out, definitely make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so you know exactly when this video drops. Thank you. Now the application in question is the latest version of HeroGo TV. And as you can see, this application is available directly on the Amazon App Store. So you don't need to sideload it, but we'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions if you want to sideload this onto your Android TV devices. Now if I just scroll down and we can confirm that with this application, we get access to new movies, TV shows, and originals. If I just scroll down here, and we can confirm this application was updated last month. Now let's open that up. And just to confirm that I'm based in the UK and I'm not using any VPN to access this content. Now the application has a very nice clean layout. We have the main menu on the left, starting with main. Here we can see some of the popular content, some of the popular TV channels. And here we have the video on demand section. Uh, let's press back. Now I can go to TV. And we can see guys, we now have a large library of TV channels, everything from your 24 hour movies uh, to sports. We have some horror channels, some poker, some cooking, drama, heritage, news. Now for a test, let's try this uh, Euro news. Let's click on that. And we can see in a couple of seconds, maybe five, four, we are straight into the news and that's working straight away. Now, when you are inside any channel, if you press the select button, we can see here, we can tweak the video quality. If I click on that, and we can see it is set to very high, but if you guys do have bandwidth issues or bandwidth constraints, you can turn this down to high or medium or low, depending on the channel. So I'm gonna leave mine as very high, just to get the best quality. And we can see that is a fantastic HD picture. Uh, let's press select again. Here you can add the channel to your favorites, but it does require you to create a free account. But what you can also do if you click on the first icon, you now get this fully working program guide. So you know exactly what you're watching on these channels, what's coming on next. And you can see all of the different content in here. So everything from some boxing to some drama, cooking, uh, golf, uh, and lots of different things in here. Let's press back. So we can see we have about 150 channels in total that you can enjoy in this application with no login, with no VPN, with no mouse toggle. And it works really well, guys. If I just try um, this shopping channel, let's click on that. We are straight into that content. Uh, let's press back. Uh, let's press left again. Now if I go to video, we have a section for movies. Then you have a section for TV series. Uh, some older new things in here. So not much in the cartoon section or very old stuff in here, but again, if you are looking for free content, and if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag hero, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Uh, here you have the 24 hour free movie network or free movies. Let's click on that. 
just to show you that it's not just a couple of channels or a couple of uh, options. Everything in this application works absolutely fine. And because this is an official application, a completely legal application, you're not going to have any issues with stuttering or buffering or anything like that. You really can go ahead and enjoy all of this content across all of your devices. Now let's press back. So that's the application working fine on my Amazon devices. If you do want to sideload this onto your Android TV device or your cell phone or your tablet, let me now show you the step-by-step -step instructions. So here we are on my Android TV device. Let's click on Downloader. And let's make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on Go. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get this Hero Go TV application on your Android TV devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So we can see this is the latest version of Hero Go TV, which has all of your favorite TV series, movies, live TV and originals. Let's scroll down and underneath all of that, we should have a single link to the latest version, which is this one here. Let's click on that. Scroll down and click on this green download button. And this will download the application directly onto your device. And again, on my Nvidia Shield, I'm not using any VPN. I can click on install. I can now click on open. Now, as I mentioned before, because this application has been designed for a phone or a tablet, it does utilize or need a virtual mouse. Now on my NVIDIA Shield running the latest Shield experience, I can bring up the virtual mouse by holding down the play button. Now I know lots of you are looking for this video and I did promise to make it I think last week, but I've just been so busy with all of those Fire Stick uh, Amazon update blog videos that I haven't had a chance to do this, but I'm gonna do this very, very soon. And this will basically be a video showing you how you can use your remote control whether that's an NVIDIA Shield or a TiVo 4K stream or the Chromecast with Google TV, really any Android TV device, how you can use a virtual mouse on that and you can assign any key that you like. So for example, on the TiVo stream 4K, I can assign one of these buttons here because you've got many buttons to start the virtual mouse. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Okay, so with my virtual mouse, we can see I can scroll down I can click on TV. Let's click on that. I now see all of the channels. And let's say I want to watch this Law and Crime. I can click on that. And in a couple of seconds, we are straight into that content. And I can now click on this here and make that content full screen. So yes, it is a little bit fiddly because it does use that virtual mouse. But if you can do that with your remote control, it's not too bad. And it will allow you to enjoy all of these channels on your Android TV devices. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.